every time, but I can't believe we are almost at springtime. It's wild to me. There are a couple of things that I like to do during this time of year or any seasonal switchover that prepares my clothes for the next season. I find whenever we take care to put our clothes away and store them properly at the end of one season, we get more excited about them when we open them up the following year. It makes us feel like our clothes are new and fresh, even if they're not. So it's like a little bit of a mind trick to shop less and reduce our consumption. It's just so much easier and more pleasant to shop your closet when you're actually inspired and excited about what's in there. So for today's cleaning theme, I have a really great sponsor for you today my pals over at True Earth. I thought this was a really wonderful video to partner with them on. If you've been around the channel for more than a minute, you know that I use True Earth Eco Strips all the time for my laundry, but they make more than just detergent. Yes, my friends. I am excited to introduce you to True Earth's latest product, which is dishwasher detergent tabs. This is True Earth's response again to reducing all of those plastic, those billions of plastic household containers that end up in our oceans and our landfills. Much like their eco strips, their packaging is minimal and recyclable, and the product itself packs a really powerful punch. So it's efficient and needs a lot less to actually do its job. I've been using these dishwasher tabs for a month because I always test things out before I talk about them on the channel. And I have to say, I've been really happy with them. And I also like that they have a built-in rinse aid, one less thing to buy. They're really effective at cleaning and they're easy to use. You just break off a tab and pop it into your dishwasher. Just like the Eco Strips, there are no unnecessary chemicals. These dishwasher detergent tablets are phosphate, fragrance, and chlorine free. And they're made in Canada, which I love. They come in 30, 60, or 120 packs. And you can find these as well as other household products like my favorite Eco Strips on the True Earth website. They also make it really easy to keep your household cleaning items in stock with a subscription program, so that's really great. As with all my content, I hope that this introduces you to a brand that aligns with your values. I do have a discount code for you for whenever you need it. There is never any rush or any pressure. Uh, it is Bell Tempo that will get you 10% off. So I will leave this link and the discount code for you in my description box below. Let's jump on in. Okay, I don't know about you, but doing these like laundry and clothing maintenance tasks are some of my favorite ways to just relax and chill out. You know, like you put a movie on, you do this, go through all of your sweaters and even your coats that are made of wool. I like to take an electric shaver and debobble everything. Specifically, I find under the arms are areas to pay attention to anywhere the fabric really rubs. You can absolutely use your electric shaver on wool coats as well. I use my electric shaver on all kinds of fabrics from synthetics like polyester or blended sweater fabrics, as well as my cashmeres, my merinos. My favorite debobbler or electric shaver is this one here. I actually found it secondhand. Usually they retail for less than $50. They last a really long time. I love the wireless one because then it doesn't get in the way. It makes the task a whole lot easier and efficient. Something else I do at the end of the season, and of course throughout, depending on what maintenance is required, is hand washing my knits. I mean, I've mentioned this before, I've talked about hand washing and how amazing and critical it is to making your knits, specifically the delicate ones, longer lasting. Just make sure you're using tepid water, should be like anywhere between 30 to 40 degrees. I use my True Earth Eco Strips for this as well. You can just kind of rip them in half depending on how much hand washing you're doing in the moment. And rather than drying my knitwear on a rack, because this can make it lose its shape a little bit. I put towels on the floor. I, I lay my knitwear dry and I block it. So I make sure that all of the seams are lined up. That way it dries really nicely, especially since I'm storing them. I want them to feel like they're coming fresh out of a boutique next year. And I think it'll make me, it'll make future Alyssa happy. 
Once you've debobbled and hand washed your knits, store them in a non-plastic container if you have to store them. Fabric garment bag or a fabric sort of bin or container is perfect. You can add some cedar blocks or some cedar like oil in a little sachet or lavender to keep any moths away and keep them feeling and smelling fresh for when you pull them out next year. Material, not plastic, is really important. Plastic just traps all the air in. If there is still any bacteria, bacteria left over, it will like allow the bacteria to flourish and like make a home in your knitwear, which nobody wants. Some winter boots, I like to leave them like a little bit scuffed and worn. I think that's part of the charm. But other winter boots that are a little bit more polished, I'll just take a damp cloth wipe them down and let them dry before storing them. If there are boots that I didn't get around to adding rubber soles to, I will do this now. Getting a rubber sole added adds to the longevity of your boots, but it also prevents slipping. Now that you've gone ahead and stored your winter items, you can pull out your spring summer pieces. I would give them a quick little steam if you can. This just makes our clothes look and feel a little bit more fresh. It's really just about playing games with your mind. I know it sounds a little mean, but it's not. It's just making your clothes more appealing, which is a huge part of shopping your closet and loving and wearing what you already have. So give any dresses and tops a good steam. My favorite steamer is this one here. It is small and handheld. I love it. It doesn't take up any space. I've had it for years. I've used it on so many photo shoot sets. I can't even tell you. It's quite affordable, especially because it lasts for so long. If you like a white sneaker, like a fresh and clean white sneaker. If they are a fabric sneaker, a lot of them can simply be thrown in the washing machines. I personally don't mind if they're a little bit scuffed, but if you like a proper white sneaker, now is the time to get them ready. I would take a minute, if you can, to reorganize your closet or maybe just like look at it as re-merchandising. Put all of your spring items out where you can see them within arm's reach at eye level if you can. Check if you're missing any hooks or organizational things, anything that will make it easier for you to shop your closet. I did an entire video on how to sort of merchandise your closet like a boutique so that you do get more wear out of your clothes. It's an oldie but a goodie. I'm gonna leave it up here for you. Another thing you can do is take stock of the items in your spring wardrobe that maybe you wanna make an effort to wear more this season. Those are the ones that I would make sure are at eye level and really easy to reach and accessible. It's all about setting yourself up so that you spend less time being frustrated with what you have and more time wanting to get creative with it. So I know that was like a little listicle. A lot of those were probably, you know, just reminders because I've talked about all of these things on the channel before, but I thought it would be nice to get it in like one spot with a little bit of a checklist, so to speak, so that you're ready to start the season. Thank you, thank you to True Earth for sponsoring today's video. Again, I've got that discount code for you. I will leave it in the description box below. A huge thank you for watching and joining. It always means so, so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget, I also have tickets to my next Live Shop Your Closet studio, which is on March 11th. We will be talking about travel capsule, both hot and cold weather. Hope you can make it. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful week ahead. This outro is like way, way longer than it should be. And I'll see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.